one minute. I want you to just look at it, and I just want to, what do you notice about it? Things like, what is the title? What, it, what is it trying to tell you? And I want you just to notice, and I'm going to call on you, and I want you to tell me one thing that you notice about the article. the notice time right now we want to just tell me something you notice about it all right here we go Ricardo one thing that you notice right that's our title right Pokemon Go is a game and it gets people outside because Ricardo where do you have to play the game thing to notice. Let's see, now we're going to get into some of the data, and let me model it for you what I say, what I notice. Remember, you don't have to make up anything when we notice it's right here. Like, I'm going to notice right now that 22% of the people, well, they walked into somebody. The wonder part is, I wonder why. Don't answer. That's later. Right now, I want to call on somebody else. What do you notice? You can pick any particular bar, and what do you notice? Because the notice, remember, it's all right there. You don't have to make anything up. How many percent? 40. So he noticed that 40% of the people, well, they walk, bike, or drove to a specific place. I wonder why they would do that. That's the next section. All right, one more. Let's see what we notice. Erica, what do you notice? She noticed 10% of people playing this game has have fallen down or tripped. Let's look at what they are, and then we'll go into the wonder part of Notice of Wonder. So, 54% left home when they normally wouldn't to play the game. That's maybe a good thing or a bad thing. 40% walked, biked, or drove to a specific destination. That's either a good or a bad thing. Uh, talked to a stranger also playing at the same time. That's 30%. I wonder if that's a good or bad thing. 22% walked into somebody, 16% walked into something, such as a wall or a lamp. 15% neglected to do work because they were playing. I wonder if that's a good or bad thing. 10% have fallen down or tripped. Okay, we're gonna go into wonder. Now, the things that we wonder are not in the article, but I'm gonna ask this question. I wonder why somebody would fall down. So this is a game where you look at your phone and you might be not paying attention to where you're walking. That would make sense. Now notice it doesn't say that. That's the things that we're wondering. Let's see if we have anything else. Walked into somebody. I wonder why somebody would do that. By the way, I hate that. Sierra, why would somebody walk into someone else? I believe that somebody would walk into like, another person because they weren't paying attention to their surroundings. Why would they not be paying attention to their surroundings? Because they're paying attention to the game. Oh, they're paying attention to the game. Talk to a stranger also playing at the same time. I wonder why they would do that. Wendy. So they're, you're going out catching things, and they're in the same location. So if somebody else is playing, where will they go? So they're going.
going to the same location. So now we're going to go to the bigger picture. Why does this article exist? Why did they write it? Are they thinking that this is a good game? Or are we thinking that this game has more bad than good? You get to decide, but I want you to look at these things that we noticed. And I want your opinion. Remember, your opinion is not right or wrong. You're entitled to it. It's always right. So you don't have a wrong opinion. Do you think that the writer of this article is trying to lead you to believe that this is a good game or that this is a bad game? You get to decide. I'm going to give you a minute to think about it, look at the things we noticed, and decide whether you think the writer believes it's a good game or bad game. Left my home when I normally wouldn't to play the game. Good or bad? Irving? Possible, right? We gotta remember the, our audience, we are seventh graders. And maybe being outside, maybe that's not a good thing. All right, let's look at the next one. Walk, bike, or drove to a specific location. Would that be a good or bad thing? Josh? Bad, why bad? Okay, so you're going somewhere. Maybe you're not allowed to go there, but you're going out. Remember, the audience, we are an audience of seventh graders. We're not adults, it's a different perspective. Talk to a stranger also playing at the same time. I wonder if that's good or bad. Ernesto. I think it's bad because like you're talking to someone like you don't even know. What do our parents tell us about talking to strangers? They're not talking to them. Usually, right? So maybe that's not such a good thing. How about walking into people? Is that a good or bad thing? Nigel. Right? And do you like when people bump into you? No. Right, so maybe not so good. Uh, walk into something, such as a wall or lamp. Good or bad thing? Chelsea? Not here. Joseph? So what we're think, talking about, Joseph, is you're just walking around and you just bump into a lamp post. Is that a good or bad thing? Why would that be bad? Oh, wow, well, you might even get hurt, all right? Um, neglected to do some work because you were playing. Good or bad thing. Chase. I think it's bad. Why? It's because it, it depends on what work you're doing. School work, it can make you fail or if you can do a job, you could also lose your, lose your job. Yeah, maybe not such a good thing if you're supposed to be doing other things. How about if you fall down or trip? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, Manuel. Um, bad. Why? And, what, and for us, as remember, as a seventh grader, if you fall down and a bunch of people are around, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. yeah, I don't want people laughing at you, right? So now we're trying to think, so this is what the person wrote. This is what the article's about. Do they want to convince you that this is a good game or a bad game? This is your opinion. We went through all of them. In your opinion, do you think that this game is a good thing? It's getting people outside and exercising, or there might be more dangers than you think about. Let's see what we think about that. Um, Elaine's not here. Let's go with Ashton. Some people, so it's a good game. We're getting outside. Even though they have all of these things, it's still a good thing because we're getting outside. We're exercising. You're not inside just sitting around. And he said that that exercise and burning calories is a good thing. Now I want you to look at the article. And I want you to look for something that would make you believe it's true. What on the article would indicate that this is real information versus somebody's just making it up to convince you of something? Joseph? Um, the second one. The second one? Walk or bike? How do we know that's true? Look for something on the article that would indicate that this information is true. Let's look. Call on somebody. Adriana. So we're just going to believe them? Once again, let's look at the article. There might be something. Elias. Um, so it says source 
Look right here. There's a source. Now, if somebody was making it up and they didn't want you to know, would they sign their name to it? So by them signing their name to it, Elias is saying, that's kind of making you think this is probably true information because you could look it up right here. It's giving you the source. It's absolutely giving you the source. Does anybody have any last comments that they would like to have about this article? Does anybody on the other side that maybe thinks, hey, maybe this game is great, it gets you outside, but it might not be safe? Jasmine. That's a really good point. So I want you to think about this as our last topic. Does it matter how old you are to how this game might be safe or unsafe? Does it matter how old you are? Is it different for you to go play the game than maybe it's different for me to go play the game? Let's think about that. Does age, does age make a difference? Last question, here we go. Now Lonnie's not here. Let's go with Alexi. talk to a stranger, is it dangerous for you to talk to a stranger, or would it be less dangerous for me to talk to a stranger? Yeah, because a stranger could be like Mr. Garrett, and we're both adults. I could talk to him, but from a seventh grade perspective, maybe it wouldn't be so safe to talk to a stranger. Yeah, I want to thank you guys. We did a great job.